Hi everyone, this is Crazy Daddy. I do stuff with my son at home, my teenage son. Uh, we do forging, Bitcoin mining. Um, what else do we have? Uh, 3D printing and lots of repairs together at home. Uh, so I'm going to be doing today uh, this cleaning and servicing of this Roborock S5 by Xiaomi. Warranty is dead. If it's not dead, please don't uh, do anything uh, because your warranty will be void if you do stuff like what I'm going to do now. So this is the main problem. I've been servicing it. It's run for a good two years. A wonderful uh, product. I love it. But it's got certain uh, problems with it. The main one being, I, uh, it keeps on saying the filter is dirty uh, and the sensors need cleaning. I keep doing it and it just keeps not listening. It just keeps on with the same thing. I have obviously changed the filters. So today I'm going to open this up, uh, see what's happening and see if I, if I can do something about it. So first of all, let's figure out how to open this Roborock S5. There's a bunch of screws at the bottom, uh, which I'll take care of later. But let's see what I can do on top. This looks like a flap here. So I'm going to just pry this open. So as not to damage it, I'm going to put some paper. Ah, this is my son's old t-shirt, Mr. Funny. Uh, that's now a rag. Anyhow. Back to business. I'm going to take this and just there you go. Is it listening? Yeah, yeah, that's it. There you go. Just sometimes you've got to be a bit brave with this kind of stuff. Just do it, and you know, oh, I've broken more stuff that I can remember, but being brave helps. There you go. That's. Try not to use something too small like a screwdriver because when it's small, there's a lot of pressure. So something a bit wider evens out the pressure without breaking anything. Oh, the power is still on. I forgot to turn it off. So I'm going to just press this and there you go. Okay, so a uh, whole bunch of screws here. I'm going to probably remove the top here first. Mm. Take a look, see what's in here. Oh, I'll pop. Let me first remove the flaps. Now, um, this kind of devices, what happens is the screws are normally quite different. Uh, what I always do, even if I'm not making a video, just rec uh, record what I'm doing and just show it to the video every now and then. Because if you do, if I do do something wrong, I can work backwards and figure out what's uh, missing. Otherwise, sometimes I finish off these projects with a few extra screws and that always worries me. There you go, this comes off nicely, which we'll clean later. And these are the screws that came with it. So I'm gonna put those screws right there. There you go. So you see when I put the screw, and I open this up with the screwdriver, it kind of shows the warranty center, center that I've messed with it which I am. Uh, there's the sensors that you need to clean. You've got to be careful with this. This spins around and kind of gets a reading of the whole area. That's how it maps stuff out. Now, this itself is a filter, but there's a lot more to the whole track. So this gets clean often enough. I'm sure you've been doing that. So let me just show you how I, uh, it's a nice way to clean it and using the filter. So there's some a bit of dust in here which I've not cleaned, which I'm going to clean out. And this, I'm sure you do often enough and you can wash this and dry it and it's a good thing. Now, the filter itself, it goes on this way. There you go, it goes in like this. But you can actually open this and rather than wash it, you see how dirty that is. You can just use another vacuum and just clean it off. It's very important that you clean it from this side and not this side. That's because 
it gets the air gets sucked in this way and this is a filter and dust comes in this way now if you run the vacuum cleaner on this side what happens is it sucks the dust even further into the filter and it clogs it up even more so when you gently remove it from this side you get a nice clean filter it'll probably give you a bit more life to your filter i find that's quite useful so i'll just put this back okay now let me open it up on this side i'm, I'm just going to vacuum up this whole thing here nicely get rid of all the dust Okay, so the bottom part you've got to figure out, this is the bumper, uh, needs to be removed first I suspect, uh, before you can move anything. I see one, two, three, four, five, okay, probably you have to remove five screws for it, it's, this is all tangled up. So one of the things I think this is part of the normal thing, it gets all tangled up with the long hair of my wife oh, and my dogs and probably Bigfoot who's hiding somewhere in the house ew, ew, ew. okay you got to remove all these hair tangles uh, often otherwise the, it starts squeaking and it's not as effective but that's out okay now uh, come take a look at this screw here uh, you can see it's got like a little white thing over it that's again to make sure that uh, you do not try to do this on your own and take it to a proper warranty center. So again, what I'm doing voids the warranty on it. seems like I do need to remove the bumpers to get it going. I'm missing the extension bit here, but oh well. Uh, the big boys are out. I'm going to take this top one off now, just to see what's underneath there, just for the fun. There we go, nice and easy. There we go, I'm going to remove the top now. And what do we have once we remove it? Apart from very springy wheels. Oh, there we go. The core of it. Okay, you want to take a look at this and you can just see you know the sensors are on the side here it's uh, really really dirty you can bring the camera a bit closer I'll just show you it's really fun to see how this works you want to come closer okay uh, okay so you see how all this is so dusty here with all this dust here I'm gonna go go back in all this off. So this is basically what the Roborock looks like all over. You can give it all a good clean. Okay, so what I found was this whole area, I unfortunately I did not get it on video, was all stacked with lots and lots of dust. It just got, uh, it did, I could not even see the input here. So that was probably one of the reasons it kept on saying my uh, clean my filters because it, the air was not probably going in properly. Uh, I was totally shocked when I cleaned it off. A whole lump of dust just got sucked out of this part right here. I so it's, uh, I'm not sure if you can access it uh, once the cover goes on. I don't think so. Uh, but we'll take a look later uh, on this. So again, this you can see even, uh, I've already vacuumed it once, but just if I were to, you can see just the dust just flying off it.
but this seems to have been a problem, I think. Uh, I'm quite sure it is. Uh, it was not even see-through. Now I can actually see through this and I'm going to put it back. Uh, so if you do have uh, this version of Roborock, uh, just take note that this needs to be removed and cleaned. Yeah, right. So I think that was the problem. That's why it kept saying it needed doesn't. And it says uh, filter needs to be clean. That means it's not just getting enough air being sucked in or it's put, uh, too much pressure is needed. So uh, it maybe falsely says uh, change your filter. So the air gets sucked in here and the filter is out here. This is the filter which we clean and do normally. And so it keeps saying change your filter because the airflow was not going through. But in this case, it was actually the input, which we don't not normally clean, that it was a problem. So when air was not coming through, it assumed that it's a filter that's blocked and keeps on giving us that error, uh, giving me that error message. So I'm fairly certain finding this out here and correcting it is going to make all the difference in terms of uh, not having that filter change uh, problem continuously. They probably added this in because the air, they, uh, you probably find all this cake with dust if they didn't do that. But the problem is now when this gets clogged and there's no clean, uh, easy way of doing it, you're going to get that error. So probably something Xiaomi should be looking at so we do not have that problem. So I think that's it. Uh, I'll just uh, put everything back if I can remember how to. So. Again, this is where I think Xiaomi's uh, there's a design flaw and this gets clogged up with the intake air. So I thought maybe I missed out cleaning uh, this, but really once I put this back, as you see here, you're going to cover that up and you, I, you're not going to be able to uh, clean it. But if you know this is here, right here, if you put a vacuum cleaner to this head, you may be able to suck out a lot of the dust. So just a point to note, uh, if you have this Roborock S5, I'll show it again to you later. Uh, part of your servicing, once you do it every few months or so, put a vacuum cleaner to this intake valve here, so that maybe you can suck out some of the dust, that, uh, that big chunk of dust that I found blocking it right here.